factor to enter promo code CHICAGO. So where do you think Illinois lines up when we when you look at the regulatory burdens of small businesses across the 50 states? Uh, here to talk about that, we've got Wayne Ga- Weidengarten, who's the senior fellow with the nonpartisan nonprofit Pacific Research Institute. Wayne, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. So, Wayne, uh, you recently conducted the study, which I find absolutely fascinating. Uh, we're not dead bottom on the list, but we're not quite near the top, are we, Wayne? No, uh, thank you. No, Illinois is in the bottom third, uh, specifically 38 out of 50. So you really didn't do well. And what's really troubling is it's not one category that's bringing uh, Illinois down. Across the board, when you look at regulations, and specifically, you know, how does this impact small businesses? Can you start a new business? And across most of the categories, Illinois just does poorly. And as soon as this came across my desk, I, I, I poured over this information. And, of course, we'll share the link and, and share ways that our listeners can uh, find out more. Our neighboring Indiana, how did, how did they do? Indi- Indiana was, uh, was the best, actually. I was, I was actually surprised by that when I was tabulating the uh, results. I did not expect your neighbor to be as high as they were. But Indiana did fantastic. Well, many of our listeners know that when uh, when you're driving down the uh, down the highway, uh, Indiana does a pretty darn good job at putting up billboards that said that say "Are you Illinois yet?" in an effort to uh, to poach businesses. and And I recently saw a Facebook post when somebody said, "Yes, I am Illinois. I'm moving to Indiana." So you know, your study is uh, as I think spot on. Um, you know, Wayne, I, I know you're a you're, you're, uh, senior fellow with uh, nonpartisan Pacific Research Institute, but we have a new governor. We have a Republican governor, a conservative, Bruce Rauner, who's uh, w- among his many proposals. He's trying to privatize the Department of Commerce and the Economic Opportunity uh, that, that, for the most part, deals with a lot of the business concerns. I'm curious to, to know if you've seen any trends in the businesses, for example, uh, in states like Indiana or states like Indiana, uh, what they're doing right, what what regulatory environment needs to be there so uh, so to, to make it easy and friendly for small business? Well, the way we look at it, and, and that's, you're asking the, the exact right question, and, and the way we looked at it is we said, well, if you're a small business owner, what are you doing? You, you know, you, one of the most important things you're ever going to do is the people you hire. And so we wanted to see, well, how do regulations impact those costs? Uh, and so in, in Illinois, one of, one of the things you're doing wrong is you have one of the highest workers' compensation costs in the country. <laughs> so, and, and in, so in order to insure a worker in Illinois, because of your policies, that's going to cost a lot more. That makes it a lot harder for businesses to thrive, makes it harder to start a new business. And so, you know, one of the things that and, – and you have you have a fantastic governor right now. And so that's one of the things, you, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll be looking toward is, well, can we do workers' compensation reform and bring down those costs? Absolutely. And there are many other things. Our, our governor is uh, is fond of talking about uh, things that Democrats might not want to hear, things like right to work, uh, reduce family leave mandates, energy policies. Are, are those things that, that your study looked at as well? Absolutely. And you, Illinois is not a right to work state. And next door, Indiana is. And that right to work is one of the most important reforms Illinois can do. There's uh, a lot of companies, you know, you, you have these relocation companies and they, they help uh, large manufacturing firms, Toyota, uh, General Electric, you know, all of these big con- uh, conglomerates, when they're looking for a place to open up a new manufacturing plant, one of the things they'll say is we will not relocate our plant to a state that's not right to work. So one of the most important reforms Illinois can do is actually become a right-to-work state and get on those lists so that when Toyota is looking for a, a new manufacturing plant, maybe it won't be Tennessee this time, maybe it'll be Illinois. I, I must say, in, uh, in support of our, uh, of our state, Illinois, as uh, Wayne Whitengarten is saying, uh, which ranked 38 on the list of uh, the 50-state uh, index of small business regulation, the interesting thing, and it's something that I'm sure – Likely, it's hard to to study and analyze as you worked on your report. Is the climate 
not in terms of the regulation, but in terms of the people. And and that's something that we talk a lot about on Get Down to Business is talking about the organizations that exist, the chambers of commerce, the the opportunities for people to work together. And I have to say, Wayne, you know, despite a very difficult regulatory environment, that's something that I'd say Chicago and the state of Illinois probably makes uh, probably w- actually would be as close to the top of the list as possible. I've traveled a great deal, Wayne. I'm curious, uh, were there any other big highlights? Uh, that stood out to you as you worked on this report? I, I think the other major highlight is if there's going to be a place where Illinois is going to look to try to improve itself is tort liability reform. Um, and that's problem for large companies and small. But when you talk about a small business, it, it literally one frivolous lawsuit can put them under. Uh, so if, I, another key reform really needs to be the tort liability system. And whatever you can do to start uh, improving that environment will help a great deal. And you know, those those uh, intangibles, and we talk about regulation, so much of it is intangible, but those intangibles you were talking about, they matter a lot. And if you can make a few of these reforms, you can actually kind of amplify those because you have all of that intangible already in place. Well, lots That's more, incredibly important. Lots more fascinating information on in Wayne's uh, report. Uh, once again, it's called the 50 State Index of Small Business Regulation. I'm not kidding. I spent hours poring over the information. It's fascinating. And there's uh, Wayne Weddengarten's working on a lot of other interesting work. We're just about I, out of time. But um, if you don't mind, if you could share uh, the website for the Pacific Research Institute so people can find this, this study. Oh, absolutely. It's just uh, pacificresearch.org. Fantastic. Pacificresearch.org. Uh, we'd love to have you back on the program to, uh, to talk a little bit more about this study and, uh, and the, other, uh, the other places where Illinois falls on other lists. Uh, Wayne, we appreciate you coming on the program. After the break, I've got some great tips, advice, and information for you on how to pick a bank for your small business. Once again, Wayne, thanks for joining us on the program. Well, thanks for having me. Of course. Don't touch that dial. You're listening to Get Down to Business. Hi there. 